Hey guys, Mortal Kombat here, and today we're going to be installing a cylinder head on a Subaru. This is a 2011 and up with the FB 2.5 liter. Okay, the cylinder head technique, um, the, the um, procedure is a little bit different, and I'm going to walk you through it. Okay, so when you're installing your Subaru heads, you know what to look out for. So normally you do not put gasket maker on a cylinder head gasket. But they want you to put it, let me show you, this is the first thing. You're going to put it on the gasket, just basically right from here to the end, a thin layer. And from here to the end, a thin layer on both sides of the gasket. Okay? And once you have that down, you have to get ready because you only got five minutes to install the head gasket. I mean, to install the head. You do not put any gasket sealer anywhere else, just on those tips on those sides and on the other side it's a little shorter and i'll show you what to do i'm not going to install that one but i'll show you how to do that okay and then once you have it make sure everything is clean make sure the block is straight and level get your you know your mechanic square make sure you know everything is level good you're ready to go and now we're going to install that i'm going to put the um gasket maker on there and then we're going to put the head on let me show you put it on a tip like that like that, on the other side, like that, and like that. All right. And then you just put it down. And it should look like that. As long as the gasket maker touches the black of the original gasket on both sides, out, that's what they want. Okay, now we're going to just put the head on. Make sure you oil up the heads. You oil up the um, the washer on this side and on the other side in there, and the threads. Okay, then you get yourself a torque wrench once you put the bolts on. All right, now, this is the front of the engine. Mark it. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, uh, five, and six. Okay, you torque them down in that sequence to 21 foot-pounds, and then you torque it again to 74 foot-pounds in the same sequence. Okay, and now, and then after that, all right, we'll continue, I'll show you. Now, after you torque them the second time in the sequence to 74 foot-pounds, you're going to loosen them 180 degrees, and you're going to go backwards. Six, five, four. Three, two, one, 180 degrees, and then an additional 180 degrees, the same way counting backwards six all the way to one. So basically, they want them all loose again. It was just to set the uh, head on the cylinder block. So now, basically, they're essentially all loose. Now, in the same sequence, going for, uh, going frontwards, one, two, you know, the same sequence, torque them down to 31 foot-pounds, all of them. So now after you did the 31 foot-pounds, all of them, you're gonna do all of them again. And why I say all of them? Because the next step, it's not gonna be all of them. So this one, we're gonna go from one to six in the sequence. You're starting at one, and now they want it 80. You, I, I mean, you should have an, um, an angle torque wrench. If not, you can use a wrench like this. If you know how to, you know, look, you know, you know your circle, your 360 degree circle, they want this 80 degrees. So that's 90. So from, from there, right? It would say that's about 80, and then that's 90. So that's what you could put it at. But if you don't have it, don't worry about it. They give you a little bit of wiggle room. All right, that's about 80. That's 90. So you're going to do 80 degrees in the same sequence, all six of them. After you did your 80 degrees, all of them, then one and two are going to be 75 degrees additional. So one and two is 75 degrees. Don't touch anything else, just the two center ones. And after you do the 75 on one and 75 on two, now you're going to do three, four, five, and six, 30 degrees. And once you do the four outer ones, you're done. That's it. It's done. And then just make sure if you have any uh, sealant oozing out over here, you just clean it up in this area right here. 
and the same thing over here. And that's it. Now I'm gonna just show you the other side, but I'm not gonna do it yet because I'm waiting for valves to come, but I'll show you. It's the same technique, it's just a, putting the gasket uh, maker on there's a little different. Okay, so this one's a little, little different. So you're gonna put the gasket maker right here from the factory black out, just a little tab on this side, and the same thing underneath in this area right there. Okay. And on this side, it's gonna be from this black, this little area right here, from the tip here to about here, and make sure you cover the uh, factory black on both sides. And that's it. And everything else is exactly the same as I just showed you. All right, guys, motor car nut, please subscribe, hit the like button, any questions, leave them below. I answer, try to answer all my questions pertaining to the videos I post, and appreciate all the feedback, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.